know, we gotta get going, right? Yeah, you guys gotta go. I just can't take this shit no more. Okay, man, John, you take care, okay? I will. Let me just splash back some Pepto, throw up a little bit. I should be all right. Uh, I'm, I'm almost 60 years old, man. I just thought you were just trying to make a living, you know? Son of a bitch. I never thought it'd last this long. Hey, who the hell you hauling over there with all these buses? Production crew for the warp tour is about 32 bands. Four stages. They start around noon and finish about 9 o'clock, something like that. Yeah, okay. I got to spike your hair, put a couple of earrings on and, and a couple of nose rings and come on down and check the show out. <laughs> it's time for Have yourself a good day there, Timber. Warp Tour, yeah, they're going to build it right here. It's just going to spring up. <laughs> Moves on these trucks, these buses, and then pow! It starts to bloom. <laughs> it's really amazing. All the cats are all... You know, flow, no, no newbies. They're all veteranos, Kevin. It's a trip. Thank you. <laughs> The Warp Tour is a fun fest, a family fantasy based on familiar landscapes of earth and dirt, of bands, daredevils, 20th century freak show. <laughs> see 15 to 18, 19 year old kids play all ages shows so everybody can come in, you know? And uh, it's working, you know? The, the whole production of something like this is on a grand scale. We're looking forward to this because it's it's like the best thing that's going on. That right. travels, you know, it's punk rock and skateboarding together. Get her some cookies. It's too crazy here. <laughs> it won't let me stop gambling. <laughs> I think anyone that's ever listened to punk rock and skateboarding kind of is the culmination of all that. Hi, my name's Ronnie Fife. <laughs> Just having fun on the work tour, riding my bike. Hey, how you doing? How you, everything? How y'all people out there doing? My name is Thomas Debo and the thing is though, the uh uh, Warbatory, I love it. This particular world at the present time is in a situation where people have to join in with the kids to bring the kids up in a more basic, bad way. Get them into college. Uh, no, this is time on. I'm uh, preparing to play at 345, and my rigorous pre-show schedule requires that I uh, fly around and smoke right. until about five minutes before. Right. Then I go down to the stage for 30 minutes. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this tour with that kind of schedule. Yeah, my first time on it. I was stoked to be on, I was stoked to, to see all those places, although a lot of the places only got to meet the parking lot. But it was cool. It's pretty much skate and be out there for the girls, represent. Beverage! Can you put the camera off for me? Yeah, you. Um, uh, do you want to speak Espanol? All together. All together, everybody. All okay. It's remarkable. They tear it down, they put it up. Kids come. Memories in their heads. They don't see any of this, though. Behind the curtain, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> it's quite amazing.
This is all no effect shirts. This shit will be gone in about three days. We feel really bad that we're playing this place because it's the biggest piece of shit place I've been to in my life. And listen, we feel, we feel that y'all been kind of ripped off because this is an outdoor show and it sounds like shit. Uh, we're taking what we got paid today, which is five grand, and giving it to you. Here it is. What is oh, you know what? Wait. I was just told to say that if you keep throwing that shit, they're going to stop the show. Really, I heard that if they keep throwing shit, that we're going to get to play for a really long time. Is that what you heard? Uh, it's real money. You can't throw it. Give it a little bit back to the scene. Together on the sand. We walked hand in hand on the beach one. She smiled at me as she tightly held my hand. I had my dick inside her. Country music played on the radio, so I turned it off. We walked down to the water as I fucked your grandma's daughter. The way it swept us away. observation this will be good for video like this tour I've been observing it in military terms and what you have here is bands like us or Civ that are what I would call the infantry bands and they do the foot soldier work little stage sometimes sometimes not then you got the cavalry bands the headliners you got bad religion the specials and those crew they're the cavalry they get the, the good slots then you have the officer class which would be Kevin and that crew and every band's got a sergeant, they're called road manager. And then we've got the Corps of Engineers over here setting up things every day. It's a lot like a military operation. You know how many questions I answer each day? How many? About a thousand, I think. All right. Uh, uh, some of the union stagehands uh, that we roll in, and this is more like a circus atmosphere, and they're not really used to that kind of... Uh, that kind of tour, usually sound and lights and backline is what they deal with. And they're doing skateboard ramps and tents and they're just going, what the heck is this? Well, morning your truck rolls in. Hopefully the stage is unfolding. 
5.45 in the morning, mate, till uh, 1 in the morning. A couple of hours sleep and then go at it again. Six days on, one day off. That's the walk to it. Taste getting up early and uh, coming out here and uh, my my buddy Johnny Two Bags, he tightens up. Tightens. Who's sleeping right now? No, he's, he's actually getting some coffee, maybe taking a shit or something. Uh -huh. And uh, he tightens up the back line and Christian and Greg do the sound. And then uh, I just tell people what to do all day. You gotta get all your sound out and up. You gotta get yeah, your backline truck set so they can start yeah, rolling the band the here out. It's the same same drill every day. Day to day? Roll in and try to get this carnival up. I like to describe our job to people that don't do this as imagine that you're managing a very busy office. Except that every day you have to pick up Put your stuff in a box and then unpack it in a different city, which is exactly what we do. A thousand questions a day. One thousand. USA bombs. Is that thing on? Yeah, it's on. God damn it. This tour van is called War Bertha. She has endured uh, about five USA tours. All of them with Dwayne Peters, which makes it like 15 tours. We're all here for one reason. I found out the reason. This is the answer. We're all here to fuck. Man and woman. Or man and man. It's a, it's a PC world, it's the 90s, whatever the fuck. Woman and woman. But we are here to fuck. US bombs are the most punk rock motherfuckers on, on the tour. This is food for the masses right here. How many per day? Uh, total meals about 750. A day? Yeah. 750 meals a day. This will last us just about three days. This alone? Yeah. Jimbo Wallace, Reverend Horton Heath. We're here shopping. We never get to see any civilization, actually. We're always in a parking lot somewhere, somehow, some way. So I finally get to shop. You know, actually, I, I gotta tell you, the, uh, the catering is kind of like a <laughs> It's a psychobilly freak out! <laughs>
from Warp Tour 98. Uh, we're shopping is free. We got your fucking Cheerios. We're having fun. Uh, the, the catering sucks, but we're having a good time. Come on out next year. We'll have a good time. We're having a great time. We'll see you later, alligator. Yeah, I'm hungry. Eric, you hungry? Let's give him some food, some fine delicacies. A little caviar for y'all on the left. A little chickens for y'all on the right. I want caviar and chillin' for breakfast. I want caviar and chillin' for lunch. I want caviar and chillin' for supper. Then I'll wash it all down with scotch. I want caviar and chillin' for breakfast. I want caviar and chillin' for lunch. I want caviar and chillin' for supper. Then I'll wash it all down with scotch. I'd have to go with the Mad Caddies and Punk Rock Karaoke as far as my personal favorites, uh, having them on the bus. When we do everything, we haul our complete sound system, all the, all the stage panels, uh, all the canopy. The stage is 56 feet wide. All the sound gear. And, uh, the whole Marianne. So basically, we're a sound crew, a stage crew, a trucking company, and we do our own drive. All in one. Uh, there's, there's a net that people sleep in. You sleep three people in a net which is actually the most comfortable you spot. Get show. You get a shot. We'll do that so yeah. afterwards. Okay. Futon, uh, futon, we stuff three people on there. Uh, the side bunks people sleep on. There's from Minnesota down. right here. She's out there. That's the lady. She's, uh, she's our stage manager and pretty much the one that keeps it all glued together. Gets us set up on time and cracks the whip on on all the union crews. So, okay, man, whatever happened to diving off the stage that we didn't see any of that this year? Uh, that, that retired that last year. <laughs> The guys from Pennywise were friends, and I just said, oh, yeah, sure, I'll jump off, and started on the, the small stack, and then just progressively built up, and, you know, after a few adult beverages, hey, what's 12 feet? Shout out to 
missed him. Well, um, for sure the Oki stage. Uh, and all the people behind the Oki stage. Oki and Gary and all the... Uh, and everybody, everybody. They're just rad. The most unbelievable thing about this tour is that uh, is that for all the guys that play in the bands that really basically do jack shit, there's guys that fucking make it happen every day. And uh, and they, they go and they set this thing up every day and take it down every day and there's a lot of work that needs to be done on it and they take care of it. And uh, you know, a lot of guys in these bands have a lot of respect for people like that. Who um, plays in Who plays in it? Yeah. Uh, we got me, myself, Greg Katz, and I play with Bad Religion. We have Eric Melvin from NoFX. We have uh, Derek O'Brien on the drums, who's been in everything from Social Distortion, uh, Agent Orange. He's been in every LC band you can imagine. DI, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> and we had Mike Watt on bass for a while, and then we got Bobby Shea, our bass player from Bad Religion. I mean, our drummer from Bad Religion playing bass. Punk rock karaoke. And um, we play, you sing. I just want to love like any other. What do I get? I'm up here with really cool seminal punk rock stars. Did I say seminal? Hey, hey, do you, you know what seminal means? Get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh man, that's badass! I didn't think I was ever gonna be like, I always wanted to do karaoke, dude, because I don't fucking write songs or anything. I just like to be like, what do you think?
baby, I think you found me. Out in the... Hey, ladies! <laughs> Get a funky! And I'm setting me up a new skateboard so I can escape the madness. The madness. Term skating meets Satan. You know? right. This is mullets meets mutants. What do you think about the Warp Tour and Osmos coming together? Oh, it's probably like the best idea so far. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> and no matter how old you are, you're never too old to party. 1958, I was graduated. Right? Ozzy Osbourne has been in my life for 20 years. 20 years. You got a problem with that? And I will swear to God, I'll be 90 years old, and I will be have. 10,000 good looking chicks around me, dude, and I'm still gonna be rocking out, dude, I swear to God. Wow, they came really nice. <laughs> Back up, off the road. Ozzy. Okay. Off the road, please. Back up. He is the best person you've ever seen hey, Hollywood. that you could ever see. It's all about Ozfest, man. I'm telling you, man. It's all about Ozfest. He drove my dad, Charlie. He did? In Wisconsin. Get the fuck out of here, Straight man. Straight up. Ozfest should not be here. Warp Tour was so much better without Ozfest last year. See the sign, no slam. Yeah, 100 fat roadie guys still can't stop 40,000 disgruntled youth. You can't stop you can't that. Stop they that. ain't got enough people here to stop that. They gotta have as many people as we got here right out here. No. <laughs> Ozzy is the best. Ozzy. And he did. Ozzy. He did drive the old man's Ozzy. bike. The old, the old man's I'll tell you what. In Chicago, it's all what? good. Though. It was in between Wausau and uh, it was on Highway 29. Okay. It's all it's good, honest man. to God, true. I believe you. Today we're jumping over the side of the stage, over the internet bus. Just kind of busting out something special for. Uh, for Ozfest, the skating meets Satan show.
this year's the first year we've ever done like freestyle motocross, like on a tour. No, they were out there, him and my dad. I woke up. I was in the van. So we built some pretty big kickers out of wood and uh, just doing demos as often as we can and just kind of showing the country what we're all about. And they were cruising the bike. Every day is really crucial as a matter of fact. It's like we have a landing apron of two feet. It's like pretty much if you come up short, you're gonna really, really get hurt bad. Ladies Lounge promotes women in sports and music. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on in there. People come in and we have like guest music stuff going on because we got our DJ in there, you know. Ladies Lounge is like a tent set up to uh, promote women in sports and music. We're just out there trying to get the word out to girls about like what's really going on in like the music industry and also with sports like skateboarding. If you want to skate and you're a girl, just do it anyway. Don't listen to anyone. Just go with what you what you like and what feels good and have fun. We got the uh, we got the Vans mural project, and it's all about painting a 10 by 20 foot mural at each venue with the audience, and uh, try to create an environment that is positive and non-critical. So anybody, someone who's never painted before, can just get in and try it. And also looking for the artists in the crowd who want to put up a nice, you know, face or who knows what. It's totally spontaneous. like it's free it's like yeah so it's cool to be able to give somebody something and just show that whole you can you can make art and just do it because you want to it's just for the fun it's not money generated our Winnebago broke down so we're all riding with different bands we're gonna look out for us no effects are gonna take our rider their rider and take our trailer with them back home yeah, man, so, on this tour looking out. We are the fucking gypsies of the fucking tour right here. You know, the amount of people that have, that have come out to watch us this time, it, it, it's, it's got to be doubled in a lot of places. And, and uh, you know, the, the, that's what the warp Tour is great for, you know? It's extra, motivation, it's, like, oh. it's extra motivation for kids to come out and check out new bands. I see it in.
Desert down at the ramp. Who are some of your favorites to watch ride? Uh, Rick Thorne and uh, Sergio Ventura, who when I was younger growing up was a big fan of Steve Kevler, all the skaters and the riders. My sponsors go, we want you to do this contest, this contest, I'm like, I'm doing the work tour. I thought of this festival tent idea, you know, where we'd have a public festival tent that uh, people could get out of the sun and uh, hang out with us for a couple hours a day. We had this friend in Seattle, James, who um, is uh, an enthusiast in pirate radio, and he um, came along and uh, broadcasted. It, it, in flat areas like this, it can go about 30 miles. Today it's got about a 30 foot radius because the antenna is gone, but uh, it does 30 miles when it's got an antenna. So people could tune in. We sent out flyers to all our uh, thousands of, we have like 12,000 names on our mailing list. Right. We sent flyers to all of them and told them when you're driving to the show to tune in to 89.1 cool. and you can hear our radio station. People bring demo tapes of their bands or their CDs of, of small label stuff and we play them over the air. Bring your demos to the Warp Tour because we'll play it on the radio station, which is pretty cool for bands that have never had that opportunity. <laughs> Nevertheless, we continue to broadcast illegally each day from the Warp Tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the international, how you doing? People all over this world all right, have that same sort of vibe. They just want to flip you off. Right. I mean, that feels good. The fell in love, too hot for the love of you. Now I know what a good time was, so I had a good time with you. If you want to get the feeling, you want to get right to the music. Stop it out for when music hits, I feel no pain at all. Favor. Yeah. Okay, broke him off. Thanks, guys. Come on, hey, hold on, hold on. I got, I got the all of it here. Yeah. 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 I got a place to go. Radio flash, magnificent seven. I was a choir for the show, but no heaven. Come on, come on, come on. Flip the no, 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 Turn it up, fuck it down. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are.
Please. There you go. Oh, the rock. Place to go. Well, I got a place. Well, I got a place. Well, I got a place to go. When I got the music, I got a place to go. Con i gruppi Bad Religion, The Specials, Leg Wagon, Pancreas, Cherry Pop and Steadies, Cheap e i Block Six. Un Writer Law, No Use for a Name, The Smooth, gli amici di Roland, MX Peaks, Pitch Shifted, Dai Totenosen. But this is the first tour that's ever traveled around the world. Like mm -hmm. this, I mean, first traveling music festival that's ever gone around the world. The roots of the tour are always in the guys that were sitting on the hill in, in uh, Big Bear one day and decided that we better do it before we're working for uh, Coca-Cola doing it or something. Some people say, ah, oh, punk rock. Warped Tour is not punk rock because they use sponsorship dollars, but you know what? We use those dollars to get places and do things that have never been done. Uh, I always look forward to the day that some kid's thinking right now how to kick our asses and put out a better show. Right. Because I can't wait to go see it. Three guys, one pound. Full festival lineup. Free CD. One pound only. I don't know, there's a lot of kids here today. I mean, I wouldn't. They're camping for a whole weekend. Like, that's pretty hardcore. I mean, I, I don't even like getting dirty. I couldn't do it, you know, right? I don't know. It looks like a lot of fun. Hey, you guys want to do a little interview for an American documentary? Don't think so. I might not. Don't want to do it? Uh -huh. I can't ask answer, ask any questions about music tours, how things are... How things not are, to me, no. Can't do it. I know nothing at all about it. You don't know anything about it at all? No, other than the fact that I'm here on duty. All right. <laughs>
Hast du mit ihr nur Babarambu? Babarambu, das ist mein Takja, Babarambu. Bad use of English is what we're talking about here. What kind of restaurants do you like to eat in, Ricky? I'm um, in Budapest. Usually, usually second-class restaurants. You think so? Just second-class restaurants? I mean, second-class restaurants are pretty good. When I got bad hunger, there's nothing like a good second-class restaurant. <laughs> bad use of English can be anything that's translated from English to another language, then back to English, or something that's translated from one language to another language, then to English, and makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Or it can just be funny, like wiener sucker. Now, to you that sounds funny, but to the people in Vienna, that's sugar. Best before this end. Is use, this man. is the best bad use of English because it's invented by the English themselves. Uh, and, and another prime that's example, and you might want to look for your own, is leave to enter. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Is this the wiener sucker? When you're in Austria, try a little wiener sucker. Das ist gut, ja? Oh, das ist mein Takt, ja, Babarambu, der jeden packt, denn Babarambu, das macht die Welt verrückt. I don't know how swing music's gonna fly in Europe. Um, we're the first swing band, I guess, to come over and play. And playing on the, the Warp Tour, the question that you asked has been like, totally cool, just because it's for strange, strange audiences, you know. I think it works really good. Right. Hello. What's going on? I'm just making sure that we get back and yeah, make it's sure just right there. I heard that it was, we were supposed to go out at 5:30 at one point. Yeah. A three-heel trap and a dragon Until the clinic had to get me clean There's no rules in the war for Come have a good time When your set's on, get up there and play your ass off Boom, boom Everybody swing into the brown derby jump One thing that tour can't stand for Is somebody just to come and take a ride Because, uh, you know, they're going to just kind of get pushed out of the area Because everybody's going to, you know Go back over their shoulder And help push it through You got to roll into the quicksand even the film guy here, every time there's something going on, even the, the Man's Warped Tour Wrestling Federation uh, event last week, it only took about a half a match, and there was red film. In it. Street from an auto ditch, everybody swinging with the brown nervy chicks. Honestly, could have won the What does DWF stand for? Oh, it's the Drunk Wrestling Federation. And it's basically a wrestling organization based on old school principles with a new school additive, and that would be alcohol. I was going to show you guys the difference between the buses in the States and the buses here in Europe. This is like a double-decker bus, like a double layer, you know? This is where you have the cake down here and then all the pudding and, and icing and stuff up top. <laughs> this is where the driver hangs out, you know? Actually, this is where you find the driver most of the time watching movies. I don't see how he gets to see because he usually sits right there, but the bus is moving. I think it's an autopilot. <laughs> Can you say okay. hi? Hi. Can you say anything else? Say anything else. No. Any, anything <laughs> else? Ending? Anything else. Ending, sing. Oh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Upstairs is where we sleep. There's about 17 different people on this bus. That's how we're living. Like rats. Sardines.
we're here having an impromptu wedding ceremony in uh, the town of Hunksa, I think it's called. Something like that in Germany. What? what? I'm just saying we're here. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. All right, we're here to marry uh, Flagen with Bach. And uh, it's close. I have a couple of rings here. <laughs> and I am a minister of the Universal Life Church, ordained Won't minister. And uh, okay, Flag. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. here's a ring here for you. Yeah. Uh, hold the ring and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring, yeah. Please I ring. I the wed. Oh. I'm wed. I the wed. I be wed. Yeah, close I enough. I be wed, yeah. Oh. Uh, in sickness and in health. In sickness and health. Richer or poorer. Rich and poor? Yeah, till death do you part. Till death to Sven Bock. Yes. Put the ring on his finger. Um. Oh, yes, here's a ring for you. And Bach, do you uh, say with to Flig, with this ring, I be wed? With this ring, I be wed? Uh, in sickness and in health? Um, in sickness and for richer or poorer? For ri richer or poorer? For richer or poorer? So death to your part. To this, to your part. You may put oh. the ring on your finger. I think I'm dead now. <laughs> Not that one. one. That oh. one, there you go. I didn't pass this. Oh, I don't know which one. Ah. Maybe it's different in Germany. Okay, by the power vested me in the Universal Life Church, the Deutschland uh, Democratic Republic, or wherever the hell we're at, I, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> I guess, to me, Warped Tour means the only time, one of the only times that skateboarding feels like work. But besides that, it's just amazing. Right. You get to skate every day and it's good bands playing and you get to see things like this.
Merci, merci beaucoup. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Gotta be up there, Hamburger Street. Ronnie's got us lost here. No, no. I don't have us lost. No, it's not lost. To where? Where we can get off the slump. Go up to Hamburger Street, and make a left. So that's the Imperial Apartments right there, and I think, and then uh, this way. Over here. Und immer schneller geht mein Pulsar, Pulsar, Pulsar. Yes. Where this is? Some shit is around here. You see, this is where the war was. This is the Seaside Gallery with all these paintings. I've got the power. <laughs> Nosen was on the Australia, New Zealand tour in uh, like January. And that was the first time we had seen him. So uh, we had heard like this band is huge in Germany, blah blah. And no one knew who they were in Australia. They were playing, and there was uh, you know ten people watching. <laughs> Then we come over to Germany and see they're, you know, selling out stadiums and the crowd is going crazy. They had like Grateful Dead following, but it's German punk style. Waking up and I feel the strain, I feel it push yeah. It hasn't been hard to find people to work here at the show today because they're all Daytona hosing fans. If you're going to commit a crime in Dusseldorf, today would be the day to do it because uh, everyone's here. We have almost reached action on police vehicles. Sending me down a rocky road I get confused when you start to talk I feel it push through, yeah Feel it push through, yeah I feel it push through, yeah Push again Why can't you just leave me alone? You're dragging me right to the edge I've got a gun And you jump my road We're fairly reserved getting started, but it's cool. It's working out. Let's say only five kids paint on the wall. All these people watch you do it and see it. it just, so that's there, you know, that influence is there. It goes out, it's slow, but it's like it's the beginning of. You don't know who I am because this is England, but um, I'm Greg Graffin. I'm the singer of the band Bad Religion. We're playing here today, and I lost my uh, meal ticket. You know, we've played a lot of places in our lives, but uh, this is the first optical illusion diorama that we've ever played in, actually. I know how you guys are with rules over here. Oh, and, uh, believe me, I usually I like to follow the rules. You know, we're really seven feet tall. Each one of us. From the back, we look about six inches. That's because of the inverse grade on the roof and the 
slamming floor. We're on the bad way to do bus. We're in Germany. We're a punk rock band. We're listening to Rod Stewart. All right, fuck you then. There's a lot of lang there's a lot of words that the French borrowed from the English. Or maybe uh, recipe. Le zip. <clears throat> and of course Ford borrowed this one from us. It goes like this. Like a rock. Like a planet. Like a fucking atom bomb. I'll remain unperturbed by the joy and the madness I encounter everywhere I turn. I've seen it all along In the books and magazines Like a twitch before dying Like a pornographic scene There's a flaw behind a window There's an ugly laughing man Like a hummingbird inside like the blood on my door. It's the generator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the blood on my door. Cactus in a photograph Like paper in the wind There's a hammer by the window There's a knife on the floor Like turbines and darkness Like the blood on my door It's a general Right. What you see on stage is totally scripted. Off stage, he gives me shit all the time, you see? Look, pointing his finger at me. Look, I'm not at all. Why don't you tell the camera about your two hundred dollars Don't you talk about two hundred and fifty dollars on the camera? Hamburg Reaper Barn 
200 Deutschmarks, window listen, shopping, add up. Things to do with it. Now, you just prove it, that's all I can say. Why, why, is, why, why did Tuesday, how come Tuesday you came to me and got your next week's per diem in Deutschmark I points? Got I got mugged. You Wait. got mugged and the Reaper bar. at the sex, at the gay sex kino. <laughs> and Adam was the first person who brought me in to see. First, he brought me to a five Deutsch, five. How much of those funny money are Five marks. Funny money. Right, five five marks. marks, right? She brought me five marks and I went in and this girl, all she was doing was this. That's all she was doing for five fucking marks. And he took me there. Yeah, and then he took me to back? another one hey. for one mark where it was people going to the toilet on each other. And I says, Adam, is this what you brought me here for? <laughs> Seriously, let's not joke now, honestly. I've never met anybody who, who's, who's dirt on sex like you. I know there's nothing wrong with it, but the way you go at it, man, fucking hell.
This time, coming like a ghost. Thank you. You're good. Let's talk about the Warp Tour. It's about kids and, and punk rock music. Okay, I'm back with you folks again. And thing is, though, in uh, South, uh, in every different area, the Warp Tour and everything, and I realistically, and I hope you people join. I've been in Georgia, I've been in you know Atlanta, Georgia, and then all plus, I've been in Atlanta, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And I also, when I was in Los Angeles, the Warp Tour was a great aspect to every particular individual. Individuals should put more involvement in this particular aspect. This particular aspect promotes the kids. Keep the kids out involved in their self in the wrong things in this particular life. To the world, to the young kids of the world, we want them to know that live life to the fullest. Be like the athletes on the world tour and enjoy themselves. All right. Be clean, be straight, be true to yourself. Words from Ted. That was a good one, Ted. Words to live by. This guy is fucking. What do you guys say, Neil? What he said. And I was sleeping in the van. <laughs> Seen a pit. So I got pit. up and he was there. His broad touring bus. I'll take you over there. Ready. Later on. Yes. What are you doing, man? You guys gotta ride this thing once you put it together. You wanna bet? Not a problem. There you go. If I That's ride it, I'll ride it forklift right into the back of it and smash it. Hey, George, maybe that camera might do that. Well, that would be really <laughs> stupid, pal.
Yeah, why? Why? Because it's fucking cool, man. There's like a whole bunch of bands, fucking thrash and this and that. People it's coming all over, dude. You're just like, whoa, they're all, whoa, you're like, boom, they're all, oh my god, you're like, bam, they're fucking, oh, killer. They're fucking bitches every fucking where, dude. It's like Warped Tour in a nutshell, huh? It's like, killer! <laughs> Clowns. Nice Asbury have nice clowns. It went like this. Bullet strikes the helmet's head. TV, children red. Watch our government. What are we doing to our children? Jesus Christ, it's too bad you're leaving today because Mount Tabor, it's always shut down. Completely? It's completely shut down, and that's where I've looked downhill, man. And they're coming down the face. You keep going about 40, 50 miles around. Miles around some of those corners, man. I just fuck you. Just whoa, whoa. <laughs> Y'all participate and also promote this program, people. Please. <laughs> Enjoy the Warbur tour always, okay? Thank y'all, and I'm closing out now. <laughs> <laughs>